Many Australian Muslim families have turned to a traditional system to help them finance their homes. The halal system is based on Sharia law, which means the payment of interest is banned. It's already proved very popular in this country, but it's not without its problems. Owning a home is every Australian's dream. And for Rafiq Islam and his wife Aisha, it took almost 10 years. But they don't have a loan with a bank, nor are they paying interest on their property. The devout Muslims say these two concepts are forbidden in their religion. Instead of going to a bank, they became shareholders in an Islamic financing firm. And I had to save a little bit to, uh, to be able to pay the 20%. Uh, 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 it's called a partnership advance payment we need to make. The firm they joined is in essence a cooperative community bank. The money comes from the advance payments of its members and they're placed on a list to receive a house. When their turn comes, the firm buys the house outright on behalf of the member, who then rents the home until it is paid off. Mr Islam says he was a member for three years before his turn finally came and he will be renting for 15 years. But once the house is paid off, ownership will be transferred to Mr Islam and his wife. It teaches you the partnership, peace of mind and patience because you have to wait for some times for the cooperative finance. Relying on members for funds avoids interest, but it can also cause problems for the Islamic firms. While there have been many success stories of Australian Islamic finance firms assisting hundreds of Muslim families, there are still many people concerned about what they describe as hidden costs. A case in point is the Muslim Community Cooperative, a pioneer of Islamic banking in Australia. Its lists have grown so long that it has to approach ordinary banks for loans to get enough money to satisfy their customers. And that means extra costs for their renters. Every customer who signs on the dotted line knows, number one, that they're entering into a Sharia compliant contract. Number two, there will be costs associated, and, but these are costs that we can't get away from. Farid Zaman is an MCCA client and is concerned that every time there is an interest rate hike by the RBA, the cooperative increases his rent. I wish I have it like any other normal Islamic banks. You pay according to the rent and you don't pay too much extra. The MCCA has defended its policies, saying the only way to avoid dealing with mainstream banks would be to increase the funds supplied by members. Yalda Hakim, World News Australia.